So you go to sleep, you fall asleep. And did you know your brain starts out in light sleep? So it says awake and then stage one and two. You get into light sleep, stage three and four is that really cool deep sleep. And then you get down to the bottom and then you come back up through deep sleep, light sleep, and then you pop into REM where you dream. It's called a sleep cycle, right? Light sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, dreaming. And you do it again and again, you know, let's say every hour throughout the night. You have several cycles. So that deep sleep is really cool. Look at the really bottom at the left, left side there. Look how long that deep sleep is. When a resident calls me at 1 in the morning, so I go to bed probably just before midnight, I hate them the next day. Why? They interrupted my longest, deepest sleep of the night, and I'm tired and groggy and miserable the next day. What happens if they wake me up at 5 in the morning? Look what happens. I'm dreaming a lot more, more REM. Now, if they interrupt a nightmare, I don't care. If they interrupt a really cool dream, I'm mad at them for ruining my cool dream. So you get your restorative sleep in the beginning of the night, you get your dream sleep uh, more towards the morning. Now, what if, when I show you some of these sleep disorders, you don't get down to stage three and four? You don't get your restorative sleep. So now you have hypersomnia, fatigue, and sedation the next day. So what if I have restless or myoclonic legs and I wake myself up 38 times at night? I never get down to stage four. I have a bona fide sleep disorder that ruins my sleep architecture is the other word for this. So this is the normal cycle. If it gets disrupted, you don't get down to stage three and four, you are in trouble. Did you know fibromyalgics have alpha wave intrusions in uh, stage four, right? So alpha waves when you're kind of quasi awake and asleep, why are those showing up in my deep sleep? These folks don't get very good deep sleep. Maybe that's one of the causes of fibromyalgia. Maybe it's a biomarker. You know, we should be doing sleep uh, studies on these folks. Yep, you got fibromyalgia, alpha intrusions. So why do we spend time on it? It's kind of cool, neuroscientific stuff. It has some application to why people are suffering these sleep disorders. So this is your sleep architecture. 